Good evening, good evening. Happy Monday, happy Monday. Welcome, welcome, guys. Comments below, sound check. Can you hear me? Sound check, sound check. Can you hear me? Comments below, guys, if you can hear me. Welcome, welcome. Chiteni Shea, Fuleniko, Fuleniko. I'll just play a song while we wait for people to join. I'll play a song and then uh, we'll start. Tufikeko Nangu 50. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'll just play a song. Tufikeko 50 to Alayamba Chiteni Shea. we will come our new followers to the page there are a lot of new followers thank you guys queen pumi here i'm a human rights uh, uh certified consultant i am here to offer checks and balances for good governance for a better zambia welcome to posha nyeva sarah Mulishani, patricia limonga good to see you by charity yes let's start by leonard kalima Mulishani. Puasha Jacqueline, good to see you. By Davis, Munishani, Chiteni Shea, Chiteni Shea. We have uh, uh, two topics today. Uh, actually, not two. <laughs> two main topics, though. Two main topics, guys. Uh, we are still dealing with the gold scandal that happened at uh, Masoseji Airport. Uh, I'm waiting for uh, Dr. Lawrence to, uh, to join me. I don't know if he's here. Let me see. Yeah, so hopefully that Dr. Lawrence Mwelwa can uh, join me later. Otherwise, as you know, uh, his wife, uh, Honorable Given Katuta, was arrested today. So we are going to talk about what happened. Kuiva ECL was blocked at the weekend. We are going to talk about the gold scandal as well and uh the presser i'm going to talk about the presidential presser uh president hakainde hichilema had a press uh, briefing 
is it on Thursday or Friday regarding the gold scandal? And I watched it, so I'm going to start. I'm going to start with a presidential address, and then I'll end my my uh, live with uh, with uh, the blocking of ECL. So welcome, welcome, guys. Chiten share, chiten share. This is our country, Zambia. We are a democracy. We have a right to freedom of speech, a right to freedom of speech, affiliation, association, and opinion. And just a disclaimer, whatever I share on my page is my opinion. I'm entitled to my opinion as a Zambian citizen and also as a citizen of the world. So whatever I share here is my opinion is what I think. Some of you praise singers, you are telling me, I have, I have to uh, substantiate what I say. I have to come here with facts. Yes, I have to come here with facts. At the same time, I have, my, I have a right to my opinion. Opinion is what I think. So I just want to remind the citizens of Zambia that let, not, let us not be intimidated. Zambia is a free country. We are a democratic country. We are free to express our opinions and our ideas. We are free to associate with any political party of our choice. So don't be intimidated. Praise singers, stay in your lane. Learn to accept that we are in a democracy and people have divergent views. Mwanfwa, but praise singer. It doesn't mean that just because you support UPND, everybody should be supporting UPND. No. Zambia is a multi-state democracy, meaning we have to tolerate each other and accept people with divergent views. That's how UPND was able to come into power because when they were in opposition, they were given a platform. They were allowed to oppose Yes. So even now that you, New Dawn is in power, Zambians should be free to oppose. So before I go over to the uh, to address, to give my take on the presidential address, I want to talk about the police brutality that has taken, uh, uh, you know, uh, taken a big, what's the word? Bachilamo. Police brutality, Achilamo, Zambia. Police brutality has taken a serious uh, route. Yes, that's the word. Police brutality, and me as a human rights activist, I'm here to condemn all the police brutality that is happening in Zambia. I will talk about the two main incidents that has happened with the police, police brutality in the last few days. One, our our former president, former Republican president, by ECO, he was going to a traditional ceremony and we saw the fracas that was happening there using the Zambia police. So we are here to condemn it. We, I am here to say the president, ECL, is a, a free citizen of Zambia and he is free to go to any part of the country as he wishes, as he pleases. So the interference of New Dawn government using the Zambia police to curtail our former president's movements is uncalled for and is a violation of rights of the ECL. So me as a human rights consultant and a human rights activist, I condemn the use of police brutality to oppress opposition in Zambia. Having said that, by New Dawn, they came on a promise of rule of law. They were subjected to these same things under PF. So why are they coming to do the same things that they were they promised to fix or to change? But you don't, please. I, I am here to say that you know what? Do not we did not you were not voted to come and commit revenge. But you don't. I want to tell so that you come and commit revenge. No. People voted you for change and for the rule of law. So we condemn all that blocking that was happening. The violation of uh, the, the ECL's rights, his freedom of movement. 
it is in the human rights every citizen in the world is free to move anywhere but ECL has not been found guilty in any court of law so why are you arresting by ECL eh? why are you torturing it's tantamount to torture whatever you are doing could by ECL is tantamount to torture ECL deserve to be respected because the president in his pre, in his pre, in his, pre, in his presser by HH in his presser when he was addressing the gold scandal he mentioned the word the rule of law more than 10 times correct me if i'm wrong by HH when he addressed the nation on the gold scandal he mentioned the word rule of law i think more than 10 times so for me my question is by HH, if you are there speaking on a platform and saying rule of law must prevail, then the next thing we find that you are Zambia police is used is being used to to harass the citizens, not only citizens, the former head of state is being harassed using Zambia police. It is hypocrisy. It is hypocrisy for the president to to be saying rule of law. The last statement, the last presser, the president mentioned the rule of law, I don't know how many times. But in a few days later, we find the police are harassing by ECL. But President Haka Inde Ichilema is the commanding officer. He's the commanding, uh, I mean, commander-in-chief, not commanding officer. President Haka Inde Ichilema is the commander-in-chief of all our forces in Zambia. So he must ensure that... He must ensure that rule of law is maintained in all these uh, police wings, law enforcement agencies. We, we are not going to sit back here and condone this hypocrisy where the president is on a press briefing shouting rule of law. And the next thing, the former president is being blocked by a, a what, a police uh, department where the president is, is commander in chief. And then we, I saw something in the post where, where the, the inspector general is saying that it's not true that the ECO was blocked. You know, we are not here to play cat and mouse games. You know, we are, we are sick and tired. For me personally, I am sick and tired of these cat and mouse games. Games, quite cool, you know, quite cool. Eh? Goldi, basanga gold at our table, goldi, nikopa ni zinc. But to my ikataba isi ye watawe tababe kete. You know? What do you take Zambians for? Is my question. So Zambians, if you're a well-meaning Zambian, let us talk and expose and condemn all these actions. We are not going to sit and uh, watch our democracy being taken away from under our eyes. No, we are not going to sit and watch. So that is my take on the ECL being blocked. And then I saw uh, another article, Honorable Given Katuta was again, a, you know, given a call out to go to the police station. Eh? So when you don't, you want to torture all your opponents, anyone opposing you, ni call out to kuyaku police. This is torture. Eh? It is torture for you to be subjecting people every time umuntunga nai kalafye ekerefe panono the next thing ni call out to kuya police. Huh? Just hold on, I'm trying to add by Lawrence. But Lawrence, can you, but doctor, can you unfollow me and follow me? Can you unfollow the page and follow me? It's saying sometimes they do something to stop people from joining. But doctor, can you unfollow the page and follow back? And then I'll try to add you again. So we, what I'm here to say is given, Honorable Given Katuta was given a call out to go to the police. For what? This is police brutality. We are here to talk and condemn police brutality by this new dawn government. The president was at the press briefing preaching rule of law. So rule of law is only going to be to, uh, to be applied to certain people. 
you are using the you baba i'm i'm and now i'm addressing the president because he's the commander in chief he is the commander in chief he is the appointing authority but president haka inde ichilema is the commander in chief and he's the appointing authority and then when these high profile politicians are being picked up or anything police are going to visit them or to do anything to, de to them the president have to sign off on that tetu wa ife mkuchuchunganya kapokola kutia imafia kuya mkuchuchunganya wa nani kani opro ponga ni constable e kupo ponga ni constable na ponga ni nani kutia imafia mkuchuchunganya wa ECL You tell me kukopro winge, mafi naponga ni kopro, naponga ni sergeant, naponga ni, ni, ni commanding officer pope ni pa police station. Kuti hai mafi ya chitina ya mungu chita block, apela order to block ECO. Because ECO was his boss. ECO was the former chief commanding officer. So all civil servants, they pledge allegiance, they respect Baba ECO. So if HH is aware of all this harassment to, to Balungu, maybe he's even the one giving those orders. Because Kapokola, Fiemu Kapokola, the sergeant, sergeant, Naponga, the commander, Naponga, the corporal, the TMA, Fiemu, which harass Balungu. That is the highest office in the land and deserves the most respect. Welcome, doctor. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Thank you. You sound mm. a bit faint. Those twenty. Okay, I'm saying mutozi. Shall we get it? I'm, I'm trying, you know, Zambia network, you really have to position yourself properly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, is that better? Yes, the picture is not as a good, but uh, I can hear. Okay, so... My doctor has uh, uh, my doctor has just joined us. Welcome, guys. Welcome. We are here. This is the th episode two of leadership and politics. So yeah, this is ep episode three actually. This is our third episode. We come Monday, twenty hours live with my co-host, my Dr. Lawrence Muela. He's an acad ac academician, a writer, and a politician. So we are here, we are here, guys. Share, share, share. I know a lot of people are alive. That's the way to go. Zambia will be saved by Zambians. We Zambians have to talk. We have to talk and we have to, you know, condemn all the police uh, intimidation that is happening. Police Can you hear me? Reality. Oh, he has dropped. He has dropped. So, guys, yes, so um, I was talking about the blocking of ECL, and I was also talking about uh, the, the summon, the police summon of Honorable Given Katuta. And I was saying that the, the, the former president was the highest office in the land when he was president, and uh, he is now a statesman, he's no longer president, but I'm just saying that... Uh, a constable, any police officer, cannot just go and start uh, trying to block ECL unless an order is coming from the president, Bahaka Inde himself, because the ECL is a well-respected man in the community. Even if we have different political affiliations, myself, I've never been a member of PF, and I, I have never supported PF but uh, I respect Balungu, a uh, former president, as a statesman and as a former uh, Republican state. 
president. So we have to respect our president Lungo just on the nature of the high office he held and what he did for Zambia, whether we are we affiliate with him or not. For me, I I never supported PF, but I support, I respect my ECL. So it's out of order for any police officer. I'm trying to add by, by Lawrence. Just hold on. Ileshupa Network here, doctor, is giving us hell. Okay, so hopefully now he will come on. So I'm trying to say that uh, the president, ECL, is respected by the nature of the, that he was a president, former president, and he is a statesman. So a police officer, Kapokola Techi MFM Kwikatabalungu, Ni Shabe Ngamutumana Vena, Niva HH. The person who's behind the harassment, violation of blocking ECL is a church. Because any inspector general or commander in chief, they are going to the president. He, the, the, the man held the highest office in the, in the land. So how can Kapokolaya Mkuchita abuse Valu? Yet, unless Navamutu Makudi wa nankan, wa HHE wa mutumine. Because wa HHE is the chief commander. And wa HHE nga wa pela ma odazi, everybody has to comply. So now, this is why I am saying, which brings me to the to my point to say, Baba President Haka Inde Ichilema, you were subjected to the same oppression, violation, and abuse. Why are you why are you doing the same to Balungu? Did you come to, to government for vengeance? That is my question. And then in the state briefing, uh, the president was talking about rule of law. Is this rule of law by torturing Balungu? using your powers to use uh, police brutality on the former head of state. Uh, Doc, you can come in. Good evening. Good evening, followers from all over Zambia, Africa, and the world. Uh, I want to agree with my sister regarding the treatment. is not supposed to as in eastern province on invitation he was an invited guest by the traditional leader who was the host of this important event and therefore it is unfortunate that uh, he turned it into a, a political comedy site, or you know, where they wanted to display all their muscles from their others who are. That cadres are no longer. We live in a peaceful environment. So, where did those cadres come from? If we don't. Did the cadres come from the former head of state? Later on, removing chairs from the, the, the tent where they were supposed to sit as VIPs, harassing the traditional leaders. I mean, full view of the minister, the DC, those are leaders that they must respect. But they chose to remain quiet. They chose not to say anything. And uh, newspaper today the police uh, the, the chief cop the, the ig has actually rubbished it as a rumor when there are footages all over the chief uh, you know the chairperson of the house of uh, chiefs has actually uh, you know has made a comment on that and condemning the upnd for that kind of behavior how do they say that uh, uh, this was just a rumor. I, I'm just wondering, you know, how, you know, the whole IG would want to trivialize such important issues as what happened in the uh, Mambwe district. It is unfortunate. It is uh, uh, 
uh, unacceptable that uh, continue behaving like this. We are Zambians, and the Zambia we wanted, this is that we wanted. I sympathized with the PF, even though I did not agree with some of the things that used to happen. And the Zambians people spoke loudly in uh, August 2021. They said no to Qadarism. They said no to violence. They said no to the you know, lack of rule of law. So uh, are we going back? has promised forward the UPND forward 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 ever but it appears as if uh, we are now of um, the, the, the former president but I think uh, uh, in future for the handlers or the security people of the uh, former president assess the area before they travel into that place and just make sure that it is safe for uh, the father of the nation, of this great nation. We really have Zambians. By-election in Mukushi for the council chairperson, I was in that by-election PF candidate. And uh, I remember during that time, there were gunshots. UPND cadres or alleged UPND cadres. Anyway, I don't. If UPND, I'm sure that they could have been arrested, but uh, they they were not arrested at all. The vehicle for the MP was shot at. All this kind of barbaric behaviour is resurfacing when we have actually been assured. Only broken by opponents of uh, the ruling party. If you are an opponent of the ruling party, then the law will catch up with you. Then they will find any possible, even as we are doing tonight, tomorrow they could actually flip through that voluminous uh, code and say, you, you committed this offense or you did that offense. not commit any offense? Is that what we are made to believe? That if, if you are uh, a member of the ruling party or you are seeing a popular known praise singers and so on, does it mean that uh, you become immune? You know, you, you, you say the presidential immunity is transferred to all praise singers that they cannot be arrested for wrongdoing. What, the, what was happening in MAM was happening in, in full view, in, in, in camera. I haven't heard or seen of anyone, and the police were watching. The police were watching. I haven't seen or heard anyone, you know, being arrested for threatening violence. But if you the environment itself there, that was purely threatening violence by one person, but by a gang being led by one individual. Who is well known to the police and the UPN? But they choose to pay blind eye because he he has some kind of uh, um, you know a, a, um, immunity. He enjoys some form of immunity because he belongs to. But they cannot be arrested at all. Is this not what we rejected just two years ago? We said no. We want to have a country of laws where laws are applied fairly and equitably. But now it's, uh, it's all about who is our support and who is not. You were just talking about, uh, you know, um, Honorable Katuta being arrested. I mean, all of us are watching that. We are seeing that. We are in that where, you know, uh, people who speak against the government, they will always find something that they can put on them and then 
you know, uh, uh, drag them to the police or take them to the courts. There are two things they are trying to achieve. Number one, uh, they are trying to keep these members of parliament away from their constituencies because the constituencies are far away from the city and, and because they have to attend court, they have to attend police every after four days themselves that the police or the courts and whatnot, they are kept from the constituents. constituency, Ngana so they are trying to keep them away from the constituents. The second thing that they are trying to is to make them broke. you know uh, give huge bills they will give huge bills so uh, the first thing they want to keep them away from the constituencies the second thing is that they want to make them broke in order for an MP or any uh, politician to be able to mobilize to be able to get in touch with the constituents they need money and that for uh, a this is the that I've observed, and I want to tell the new Don, the UPND, to stop doing that. Let Zambians work. Let those leaders work, work for them. They were not elected to be kept at major street court. They were not elected to be kept at police stations. They were not spending time with the lawyers trying to find answers to the question. Let them work. There is something that you need to concentrate on. Concentrate on crimes that affect everyone. Concentrate on crimes that will affect the given in the right way. Concentrate on ensuring that things are done correctly. Concentrate on issues uh, like, like uh, you know that affect the whole nation, like. Uh, The sausage scandal, which has actually a presidential a concern, why is is it so different from any other criminal offense? Uh, we have had uh, more than uh, uh, six presidents. The current one is the um, At my age now, I'm, I'm telling you, I've never seen or heard of any of the six presidents hold a press conference to discuss a saga, to discuss one, one, one particular incident. A treat in the uh, remember the, 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 the history that we can remember. We can't remember any like this. So uh, what is going on if the president is making comment on something that is under investigation? It prejudices the process. Because everyone, even those that might have information, uh, well, will uh, withhold well, that well, information for fear your, of intimidation of arrest, for fear of safe things. So, uh, I think that it was not wise for state to comment on this issue that uh, I believe are very, okay, very so, wow. capable of handling these issues. They have handled 
so the signal is bad about doc can you rejoin your signal is really bad we have a lot of people watching so uh, can you maybe find a different location so people can hear what you are trying to say very important stuff if you are just joining guys we are talking about um the current uh, trending current affairs in the country but doctor was trying to explain about uh, the uh, ecl being blocked and we saw kadarism at that ceremony and uh upnd came to the government power in a promise of rule of law but we saw that there was kadarism there that's what the doctor was talking about he would join maybe uh try to find a different location where doc so you can people can hear you what you're saying is really important yes so our doctor was saying that uh, you know there was kadarism in full view of the current government ministers and also in full view of the police so they are praising and now they are above the law but praising are they above the law you know so this is what we are talking and then the next thing but given in by given a katuta honorable mp for chiengi vadi vekata vai kata vai katura and the doctor has raised an important point to say this whole police brutality against members of parliament is actually stopping the members of parliament to being in constituencies to support and uh, supervise their projects and their work in the constituencies but doc bachelor that we are finding all these we are finding all the mps in uh, opposition always in lusaka kuma court and facing huge legal bills which is actually draining uh the money their resources or their coffers so i hope uh, uh, but doc, your connection will be better but uh, we are here guys yes we are here and we are going to talk about the presidential uh, presser that the president conducted uh maybe can you go ahead okay where did you lose me from uh, the, uh you were talking about uh, there has never been a president in zambia who has held a press conference to talk about a scandal you know Ubu, one to three hundred kwacha the president has never come to have a press conference to address his Ubunga. Mamona, this, this government, you are HH, you have never come to, to, to a press conference specifically to address Ubunga. But press conference to address that scandal. But before I, I want uh, before you comment on this uh, on uh, the press conference, I just want to give my take. Uh, about that press conference so number one the president said that he was in angola when that was sausage gate scandal was happening that he had traveled and i don't think that is true because the president the scandal happened on sunday and the president was still in zambia right the president i think he left only monday or tuesday to go to angola correct me if i'm wrong but the president said when that source, when the sausage gate gold scandal happened, the president said he was in Angola. But the actual scandal happened on a, on a, on a Sunday, August 13, and the president was uh, still in the country. Correct me if I'm wrong. I listened to the presser and I took notes. So the president said in black and white that he was out of the country when that sausage gate gold scandal happened. He said he was in Angola. So I'm here to correct to say, actually, the sausage gates happened on Sunday. And I think the, the president was still in the country on Sunday. Correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, another thing I want to mention about the president's address was that uh, uh, he really emphasized on the rule of law. He really emphasized on the rule of law. He said so many times we are going to have a rule of law in Zambia. You are on your own. If you commit a crime, you are on your own. So the president 
emphasized that many times. And uh, but doctor has just said that in the history of Zambia, we have never had a president to come online and hold a press briefing about a scandal that is happening. So this is the first. And this is raising eyebrows to say, why is the president, why did the president really have to come online to address a scandal? Because this is not in regular, it's not a, it's not regular practice. It's not ordinary for a president to hold a press briefing to talk about a, a gold scandal at the airport, you know? So, so those are the questions we should ask yourself. And uh, he also said that Zambia is an open market. Yes, Zambia is an open market, but uh, you know, we are here to say that, you know, as much as Zambia is an open market, we as Zambians, we want the transactions to be legal so that Zambians can benefit from it. Yes. Right now, I can say that Zambians are not benefiting from this open market of Zambia because if Zambians are benefiting, meaning we will not be at 300 kwacha. Yes. So as much as I'm here to tell the president, we have half a day, Chilema, you are the chief marketing officer. You are saying Zambia is an open market. If Zambia is an open market, let Zambians benefit from your, your marketing. And when... We, and for me, I can say that Zambians are not benefiting from your marketing because we have the highest economic, uh, economic, we are paying high market prices for everything. For food, it's very expensive. The poverty levels have increased. So let me see if I can add my doc. Uh, uh, yeah. And then he also talked about, uh, you know, social media platforms. Our president, in his speech, he talked about uh, all this news that was happening on social media, people talking A, B, and C. You know what? Zambia is a democracy, and the whole world has changed. Social media, Ensaka, you know? Social media, Ensaka, we all come to social media when something happens. And Zambia, we are a democracy. We have a freedom of opinion, expression, and affiliation. You know, there is nothing wrong when a scandal happens for citizens to speculate. There is nothing wrong with that. So for me, what happened at Masosegi Gate, you can't send the police to say, go and arrest Pumulo. She, say, she was saying ABCD about the Sausage Gate scandal. It is a crime. If you send anyone, and to go and arrest, if you send the law enforcement officers to go and arrest someone who is just exercising their own freedom of speech or opinion, that is a violation of human rights because people are entitled to their own opinions. And we are here to say that Zambians, we should not be intimidated because we are saying that this new dog government has a tendency of trying to intimidate its citizens. And in their address, the president also said that uh, you are just a phone call away. Wherever you are, we can make a phone call and the law, the rule of uh, the, the whatever, the law enforcement will visit you. So for me, again, I would like to ask the, this question to the president to say, you are busy talking about a case where, which, which is a, a, you know, a, I don't know what a scandal, we don't, I don't know what it is who store if the gold was genuine or not. But uh, the president was saying that basically threatening people, for me, I see it as a threat that uh, you, you are a phone call away. Whoever is talking on social media, we can just make a phone call and the law enforcement will visit you. For me, I see that as a threat coming to the president because when ECL was attacked, when there were cardinalisms there, where is the rule of law? Where is the rule of law when it is affecting ordinary Zambians? But this is sausage gate scandal. It's affecting foreigners. There are Egyptians involved. So I just want to bring this to the light to say the president, when he is on an oppressor, I think this is my opinion. I think that uh, when the president takes the mic and he's speaking on a, uh, on a matters of international, uh, of uh, international
fashion or whatever. What is the word I'm looking for? Ngavalela nda fashion tuti ako watala sungu bade unfa. But president wala kongkam wala kongkomesha sana pari rule of law because that presser it is an international scandal. The whole world is watching, and we are present. We are because of our commercial hour. We are watching you. Hello, rule of law is number one. The law will visit you. Hello, if you commit a crime, you are on your own. Mamona, because it is an international scandal. But President Walich to emphasize rule of law. Now we come to Muloko. Muloko people are being harassed by a president. Is harassed at a ceremony. Yeah, we don't see that rule of law being applied locally because they, you know, the international uh, eyes are not really scrutinizing what is happening in Zambia to the Zambian people. But this is uh, this sausage gate scandal, it is global, you know. And I also heard that uh, a reporter who reported the case in Egypt has been arrested by the Egyptian police, you know. Okay, I can't say much about what happens in Egypt. But in Zambia, we are a democracy. Scandal na ichi tika tufile tuwa la andapo. Elo, echo tulela andapo because avantu valela ale nsala, uvunga avantu valela ichi 300 kwacha. Elo muamona gold jiri mundeke. Muamona, this is why we are all upset. We have been talking here to say, we need like a, a what mining, is it is that a full reserve agency? Mining reserve agency, that's what we need in Zambia. We need a mining reserve agency so we can nationalize these new mines so all Zambians are benefiting, you know. For me, I'm here to tell the president that there's no need to market a gold or whatever minerals we have in Zambia. I'm here to tell the president that the minerals that we have in Zambia, they don't need marketing. What we have in in as a country the minerals we have in zambia as a country they are a hot cake there is no you can't market gold you can't market copper you can't market cobalt or nickel because it is marketed itself it's on demand it's a global demand these uh, minerals are high pricing so what are you marketing how can you marketing something which is on high demand this is my question now to the president I think the president's priority should change from marketing our minerals to managing them so that the Zambians benefit. This is what I'm here to say. The president can't be marketing something which is already marketed, which is on high demand. How can you market cobalt or copper or nickel? Eh? It is about high time the president starts doing the right thing for the Zambians. Ama Zambians vale chula. No Zambian should be suffering. Yes, I've said it. Mr. President, you should not be a marketing officer. You should be a chief managing officer to manage the resources of Zambia so that Zambians benefit. The whole world is changing. Kuboswana, they are demanding 51% for the share of their diamonds. In Zimbabwe, they have stopped exporting raw materials. Guinea-Bissau also, they have stopped. Now, Valanda, Takuri Kufunyama raw minerals without being processed. The whole world over, countries who have natural resources are waking up to the reality of owning these the mineral, mineral rights and benefiting their people. So for me, on that press of start, you would, again, it's a scandal because no political president has ever come to make a press address on a scandal that's going on. And I also want to say that there is a, a, something going on that, uh, you know, some of the people who are involved in that scandal, their names are being shielded. Why should you shield people? Why should, should people be shielded? I saw a letter in Botswana, a Zambian was arrested. They mentioned their names. And people need to talk about it. And people will talk because this whole issue, yeah, gold is hot in Zambia. It's a hot issue because I want to buy chula. I want to buy chula, but the gold is in the hands of a few people. They call them prospecting licenses, whatever, but gold is going. Whatever is not gold, it's copper. It's like whatever, you know, we don't really care. It is smuggling. And on top of that, 
those jets were packed in the VIP, VIP section at the airport. And on top of that, they were cleared to be there. And on top of that, there is like, you know, incompetence. The deck mentioned a different aircraft number to the aircraft, actual aircraft number. It's just all confusion. It is all confusion. That's why we are saying that the president need to fire some people in his government and make reshuffles and put people who are actually qualified to do these jobs. It is not looking well. Now, Museva. Na mule seva na manyu don mule seva na because kare tu ambo kulanda tulalanda muzambia mule lande shan shan yuko nga tulalanda kofye mula tushia utapano no but that's why I must kande yoni yana ya international the whole world is watching we are going to see how you are going to cover this up because we are reliably informed to say some of these people they are presidential aides no one wing and ever at a pumulo will land if you they land because all this information is on public domain. I'm not creating or manufacturing anything, so I will speak because all this information I'm sharing here in a public domain, and we will continue to talk until the right thing is done for Zambia. Zambians cannot be suffering, Zambians cannot be suffering when we are a rich country. And we have a president who calls himself a chief marketing officer. Mr. Haka Inde Ichile Masa, it's time to call yourself a chief management officer. There is nothing to market in Zambia. What we have in Zambia is self-marketing. You know, what we have in Zambia is like honey, everybody will come. We don't even need to have, invite everyone. The minerals that we have in Zambia, they are hot cake. We don't need to market anything. leadership To manage our resources, demand equal and fair trade so that Zambians benefit from the resources. We change the lives of people. Yes. And lastly, I want to talk about the debt restructuring thing where we saw in New York, New Yorkers were protesting for the debt restructuring. For Zambia, New Yorkers were protesting for the debt restructuring. This company, BlackRock, has re refused uh, to write off the debt and they are demanding payment. So again, we are here to say, why is the new Don government lying to people? The president came a few months ago and there was a parade. There were dances that debt has been restructured. We won't pay debt until the next 20 years. And then we see protests last week in New York of New Yorkers protesting on behalf of Zambia and then praise singers Mule Lumba, Tinkongole Navachita, you know, Navachita postponed for the next 20 years. So, who, what is this? Lies upon lies. You cannot operate a government on lies. Those days are gone because news is a traveling. On the light, on the speed of lightning and the speed of light. But BlackRock refused to cancel the debt and they are demanding payments to start going to them. Meanwhile, to start paying that debt in 20 years. So, which is which? And meanwhile, I'm a price in a debt restructure, debt restructure. Take and drink some water. Sit down and follow the news. Do not do if you are a praise singer. You will all need to join uh, join voices and demand demand uh, answers from this government and conduct proper checks and balances. I end here, but Doc, the floor is yours. Can you hear me? It's like yes. A bandwidth is very yeah okay uh very very well said uh you you can you speak talked a about bit a louder important you can speak I'm saying a bit louder very well said uh, uh -huh. can you hear me am i loud enough uh uh it's better now. Okay. 
So I was saying you have touched a lot of issues, very, very important issues, very important questions that our leaders need to answer. It is important that Zambians are given answers. What the Zambians are asking for is just clarity. They are not even saying this is the one who has done it. They are just saying do the job the right way so that we can get to the bottom of this. We can know who is stealing our gold. That are close to the powers that be. Oh, it's just the common criminals on the street, whoever they are. What the Zambians need is consistency, continual communication, that you communicate instantly, you communicate without issuing conflicting statements. Issuing of conflicting statements is what is jeopardizing this conversation, is what is jeopardizing everything. And you have to understand that we now live in a, in a, in a social media world where gossip has been amplified. In the past, it took time and it took a long time to get things, you know, to, 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 from one end of the country to the other. Now it just takes a few minutes. News will be all over the country. Uh, why? Because we are living in a different age. Now, in that age where we are living, people must not be deprived the right to live themselves, to speculate, if you like. They should speculate. The reason why speculations come is because there are gaps in the communication from those that are in authority. If the people who are in authority are able to communicate consistently and uh, correctly, people are not going to ask those questions. People are not going to speculate. They will wait for the process. But where, you know, um, for example, I'm just talking about the speculation. Others speculated that the plane has left. And others see, and, and yet the DEC was saying the plane has not left. But if you compare the information, I've not been to the airport to verify this, but what information that is coming to us is that there's a variation between the number that was on the plane, that the number that, uh, you know, DEC announced in their uh, press statement, and the number which was physically on the plane. So those who are speculating could actually speculate that perhaps the one which had that number left and then they brought in a different plan. It's all speculation. No one is saying this is the truth, but uh, we need to know the truth. Zambians need to know the truth. What has happened to the same fake gold? Where is the fake gold? Uh, how can this information be verified? Because Zambians also have the right to verify and know, okay, this uh, uh, gold thing like gold was in fact copper and here it is. Uh, let's verify it. Let's conduct the tests in the presence of interested stakeholders, interested, so that we settle the dust. So communication is important. They, they, it's actually said that lack of communication causes abnormalities. But at the same time, that communication must be consistent. Because if the communication is not consistent, it's, it's, it's got a lot of conflicting statements, it creates another problem further speculation and speculation and speculation. Uh, you talked about uh, the chief marketing officer. The chief marketing officer of a company speaks good of that particular company. If I'm the chief marketing officer of X Company Limited, I must speak good about this X Company Limited. I have had an open travel around the world and I've also had an opportunity to travel through China. And when traveling in China, I traveled by train, I traveled by bus, I traveled by different means. When you see things, all they would do is to tell you about the Great War. They would tell you about the Yellow Mountains. They would tell you about all those beautiful places in their country, so you are attracted to visit them. Um, our chief officer is one that goes into the public domain on social media and calls a, the, the airport where, you know, tourists must come through, visit our country, a place an award winning airport. come through to come and invest <laughs> in our an country. Award -winning and it, airport, John he just goes to say it's sausage. 
Yes, it becomes a sausage airport. Now, for those that are reading or watching or listening to our chief marketing officer, we even be wondering whether they would want to come to a country with a sausage airport. These are things, you know, as the chief marketing officer, he is no longer an opposition leader. He is the president of the Republic of Zambia, a president for all. All that he needs to do at this point okay, in I time is to speak Dr. well Dr. of Dr. Zambia. Okay. Speak well of Zambia. Speak well of Zambia. Not to speak ill about the country that you, 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 are you come from. President, not team? coming from. You are the president of that country. And you are yes. the chief marketing officer. Then from there, yes. Kamakomokene, you are belittling the pride of your country. John Masosage. marketing officer must learn to speak well about Zambia. That, that is all I have to say. He has to learn to say a, a chief marketing officer who has locked up all the politicians on the opposite side. What impression is it sending to the outside world that all these opposition So he's a president of a, 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 a criminal ridden country. You know, even in a family or in a home, there are issues that you take to other authorities and there are issues that you discuss as a family. There are certain small, small issues that are not supposed to the courts because our courts are congested. Our courts, we want our courts to deal with issues of, uh, you know, uh, issues of millions that affect the, the millions of Zambians. Now, if the, uh, our courts are going to be sitting there to discuss uh, who gossiped, who, uh, to discuss who posted what, to discuss all these things. What time will our court be able to do the most important issues? The issue of corruption. My sister, the UPND uh, came to power on account of a message that uh, the PF was a very corrupt regime. Very, very, very corrupt regime. And they sang that song every, every minute, every social media platform was PF corrupt. PF corrupt. It's two years down the line. How many convictions? Zero. Zero. After all the drama that was created, that these were corrupt. Zero. All we see is headlines of arrests, but no headline of conviction. There's no headline of acquittal. There's no headline that really tells us something is happening in the fight against corruption. The, the, the headlines that are there are just to create an, impl an impression that they are working, uh, to create an impression to the imperialists that this government is working. But in reality, they are not working. People go to court every day. It's adjournment after adjournment after adjournment after adjournment. There is no single case that has been concluded. Even after creating the first track court, nothing has been concluded. Nothing, no one has been convicted for corruption. Uh, every uh, each of these issues they start very dramatically i remember the time when they started the story of the ftj university ftj university and how so much money was lost through that but uh, uh let's check it out how far is this we can talk of the suji line Started court as the trial as trial started. I, I, will trial ever start? I, I don't know. I really don't know. But uh, so we start things. They, they fade quietly. Our journalists they don't want to follow up these issues. The issues that they need to follow up and keep Zambians posted. The way it all started. To, to kill the case which started with hype, they will start adjourning. Today you go to court and say you come back in January. So uh, from now to January, what is going to happen? People will forget about the issue. By the time it is presented, they are, give it another adjournment. So we are doing well in terms of our fight against corruption. The, 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 the 
we create uh, those those in government we are so corrupt over to you so i think uh, uh, your your signal is fading in and out Can you hear me? Yeah. I'm saying yeah. over to you. You are okay now. Yeah. And I, and I'll beg to be I think excused. I'm done. I think I'm done. I'll just make my last comment and then uh, I'll summarize everything and then you can say something as well. But you know, our show today, this okay. is a leader, I think thank you very so much. You can wind up with the audience. Okay, oh, you can say the last few words after i say the last few words so to summarize everything guys oh bye so thank you my dog for appearing uh, we, although your connection was bad thank you everyone uh for watching follow like share ubuntu forum we are a human rights page here i'm a human rights consultant myself for good governance and the better zambia yes so i'll try to read a few comments some of your comments they are unfounded i know a lot of you people are new to the page so you don't know what i'm all about but this page is a uh, come to this page with an open mind with a patriotic mind come to this page to wish for a better zambia for all zambians you know Zambia, the times have changed in Zambia and all around the world. You have seen what is happening all around the world. People are rising and demanding that leaders make the best decisions for their people. Leaders must make best decisions for their people. And what is happening in Zambia, this current new dawn government has not, has not made best decisions for Zambians. They came and exported the Wungo Wali Muni Reserve. And now, you know, they have uh, signed a deal with Congo to export more maize. That's why we are buying Wunga, probably 300 kwacha. Me, I expect the president to hold a press briefing and talk about the high cost of living. It is uncalled for, for a president to come and hold a press briefing on a scandal where his, uh, some of his uh, aides are involved. Yes. My, my now my question is why is the president holding a press briefing to hold about this go, to hold a press briefing about a gold scandal when some of his uh, aides are involved? When the plane was parked at a, a VIP section in the airport, he is the commander in chief. So the president is aware of everything that is happening. He gets a briefing of what is happening. Yes. In some of you praise singers, you are naive. And if you are not patriotic, get off this page. Here you are on this page. If you want a better Zambia, we are you are welcome. But if you are here to praise, sing the wrong things, I'm sorry. Depending on your comment, I will remove you from this page. Yes, be patriotic. I've said earlier, look at smell the coffee all around Africa. Presidents are fighting to get more for their minerals. In Botswana, they are get, they are getting fifty one percent. That's better than what we are having in Zambia. They exchange dividends for royalties, and they also gave a tax holidays and tax breaks. That's why there is no money in the country. Mining licenses for the new mines are continue co continuing. To to be given to private investors, local and foreign. Eh? This is time for leaders. Like I said, the president should be the chief management officer, not marketing. Zambia, what we have does not need marketing. We don't need marketing. We have a hot cake. We want to identify gold. We want to identify copper. We want to have a lithium. What we are asking the, the president is to ask a fair share for our resources so that 
if the government, if Zambia gets a fair share for these reforms from our resources, we can translate, take this money down and save our people from poverty. Yes, we want to take Zambians out of poverty, countries around the world. A movement has started in Africa, in Europe to Nawasungu, even here in America, Mwali Mwanawasungu could are protesting for you Zambians. And then he mwena wika la mulelu mbefia wupuba. Wake up Zambia and shame on you. Awa sungu ngawai mama New Yorkers kujia kwa mba kula kita protest panko ngole shenu. Yale kwa mulelu mba you are celebrating to extend your debt 20 years. Are you normal? When other people, Americans, New Yorkers are protesting to have your debt cancelled? And you are celebrating to extend your date in 20 years in the future. What kind of a parent are you who wants to leave a future date to your to your children? You die living in Kongole. It's unfair. And here now I am calling out Wahaka in the Ichirema. Bahaka in the Ichirema had the wedding value of your mana. Mwani mwani mbesho wa mpede uya mwana. Mwani mwana bali mbikira pone nsofu. So they were hacker in the Ichile Mavakafwa. Umana will be set for future. Financial is set. So now, why can't our president want the same financial empowerment for the Zambians? Because he's the father of Zambia. He's the father of nation. Whatever deal by Haka in the signing is to leave a legacy of, of, of financial empowerment to Zambians. Now, why? Is Wahaka in the signing deals to leave Waba and Amunko Ngoli. He's the father of the nation. Eh? He came, he voted for change, came, got to government on a promise of change. So, promise of change, which Tafimofine, Ukula Shama Zambia and Munko Ngoli, leaving our great grandchildren to come to Munko Ngoli. Wake up, Zambia. Zimbabwe papene so they are not exporting minerals without processing them. Kugini na kwena na wakan, Nigeria na mufwa. It's a high time we get real value for our minerals. Ena iwenga ulefu wa ukafwe mubu chushi bachi wali wina fio be fio. Iwenga wali mbele robu chushi, bambi mwale mbele lene mbo shabu chushi. Mukafwa mule chula bachi godi, there is gold in your village. Gold, your mumove, ero awe neva ama government, past, past and present politicians are giving licenses to foreigners and a few individuals to take your resources, leaving you poor and poorer. Is that normal? It is time power to the people. Akula and then all you say, make a channel and start talking. Make a channel and start talking for them to do the right thing. Zambian minerals, we need to benefit from a Zambian. But I said that about gold, Muma private jet to hold a Shapama airport. I don't to fool it away. You know, a kg of gold in Shinga, a kilo, one kg of gold is 62,000 US dollars. Number 30 is gold. Yeah, but Muzambia, Tetiba Bull and Angu Zambia, and who you say. Bamu pera two kgs of gold. That's uh, over a hundred and twenty thousand. Every Zambian can get two kgs of gold. Tatulana, tatulana na fuma diamonds, which are more even more expensive. Ama minerals tatulandi deko. Niko na yena tatulandi deko. We want Zambians to to benefit from this whole picture. Chefa tule landa, eh? Bashi protege, Tibale is a Tibale Landa Paris scandal. Scandal ya suji la itibali talala. Mwani mwani pa bashi provise mkulanda Paris scandal ya suji la itibia. 30 tons of suji la itibia wabai kete. Mwani mwani bashi prova panga press conference. Tabala, tabala, anda po. Wani bashi prova mwani mwani talala. Ba, 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 John Masose, jibali talala. Paris scandal ya suji la iti. Tulalanda diyo nse, we need evidence that that suji light is still in zambia which is almost a billion us dollars where is it eh? so mama zambia mule said that if you if you mean yes she will have to take a meal of mama zambia and sure eh ah mwandini ah well hello 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 h
Ukufumena papeji and your soji light is almost one billion US dollars. Do you know what that money can do? Kuti ya alipine kongole sha Zambia. Ave ma Zambia gonsu kumidisha moto yanu kama millionaires instantly. Ero mule sapotefi ya bupuba. Mpia bale se ndaba sungwe bale di mpia. Soji light tiri ya. Ya baku isa. Mwali mwene po baba shipro wapanga po statement. Wambo kanda pali soji light. Eh? We will need to know where that suji light is. Oko ya ya. Tuwa kulala nda pofia. Muka irete, muka tuwa kanyi wonze, muka tulishemu. One billion dollars can change who's the every Zambian's life. Zambia is a paradise in the land that you want to say. Number one, wana. Tatu palianda, na mulala nda, tinalite mwakula nda landa. God is showing you how rich you are. God is showing you. You Zambians, how rich you are, and it's showing you the people who this is just the beginning. God will reveal also Zambia na musukupa mutwe le saka museba nya. Because our Abama ship run and government shall buy shide rule of law. Nanguye in a press I have over quite by it after preach a rule of law. Rule of law, I'm learning another sumo. And then in Gamapi, you are oppressing your own people is a shame. And Zambia need to get need, need to rise up power to the people. Zambia Mwilatin na Mwilatin don't be intimidated. You have a right to opinion, you have a right to speech. Yes. You need to substantiate. How can you substantiate your own opinion? Get educated, please. So otherwise, that's it, guys. Follow, like, share. We'll be here. We'll be talking Monday specifically, leadership and politics. I'll be here with uh, Dr. Mwelwa. But any other day, if, the, if there's any breaking story, I'll be here to go live and give my view. Otherwise, thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Try to pass your comments. Mule berengam, ama comments mule le, mbabala berengama comments. So, mumu inema comments, whatever you feel, you write it. Ero ba praise, mumule kukula konkila bantu mma comment, no kula ba chita threaten. We'll deal with you in 2026, the first book here is Sunga Fiance. Mwam keba mafia. Mwye na mkula chuchunga wa Ed Galungu. Kuya mkula chuchunga ya wa Ed Galungu. Imwe wa praise imwe. We will deal with you. Whatever government is coming in 2026, it will be a government of the full rule of law. Not government ya hypocrisy. Nga wapini mkiloku wa chiru of law. Nga wapini mkiloku. Batu mama kada kuya mkula chuchunga wa ECL. Shame. Be consistent in what you do. I can come okay. The rule of law, the rule of law will deal with you. The next day, they send thanks to harass by ECL. What kind of nonsense is that? It's nonsense. You can't be preaching rule of law. The next thing you send cadres to harass by ECL. What is that? You think so? Zambians are full. Whom are you trying to fool? And they expect a general navy now it didn't happen. Imwe, mune ni fooli na kemwebe ne. Nganiwa international media uwe nwa mule fooli na. To be honest with you, nga ma America nwa mule fooli na. Ba America wali kwa ta shushu shushu mwamu ine mwamushi mwamie nwamu. Business deals with America is one thing. Human rights violation is another thing. Already there was a report again, a negative report on human rights on, on human rights violation against the the new Don government by the US Department of State. You are speaking from two sides of your mouth. America, whatever they know what is happening. So for you to be saying one thing and acting one thing is too bad. It's shame on you. Because God bless you. Thank you. We'll be here. We'll be talking. 
Zambian Lives Matter. We need this chief marketing officer to be a management officer. And this sit and invite Zambians to the White House, State House, and talk with the Zambians about the, the problems. He can't be flying all over the world talking with other people. A president who can't even attend any of the local ceremonies on the northern or eastern block. Why is our president not able to attend ceremonies in the northern or eastern block? Why? He always has to send a representative. That is my other thing, the Nachila Rokulanda. Zambians, we are watching. As a president, he's supposed to be the president of all people, all tribes in Zambia. He must attend these ceremonies. For treason. But we are yet to see by HH go around to all these traditional ceremonies and the, you know meet with the local people and talk about the challenges of the people. The fact that the, the president HH is not going around to all these small ceremonies. Now that's why people are saying this president doesn't care about poor people. He would rather be flying in the jets and talking to people who are who are of high stature in 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 a, in, in a social class. He can't go to a village and talk to these chiefs and meet the people who voted for him. It's sad and it's a shame. And we are watching. But change to show home campaign 2026. You are HHS and my advisors, Venu. We will see you 2026. We will see you in 2026. to to officiate or even just to be around your, your people. You would rather be in planes flying around the whole world. Next, we will see you Chief Marketing Office. It's a shame. Thank you, guys. Follow, like, share. We'll be here. We'll be talking because Zambian lives matter.